Madam President and members of the City Council, my name is Ned Massey. I'm with the Mead West Faco Corporation. And it was my privilege to serve on the Site Selection Committee for the Redskins. And I can say to the last speaker that we reviewed a lot of different locations that would be possible for this facility to be uh, placed. And after thorough consideration, this was the best site that we could propose to the city. And the time issue is being discussed, and one reason that the time is so important is that if we really want the Redskins here next July, we've got to get started on building and preparing that location to be able to have the skins here. Because you just don't create two fields and a practice site and a field house overnight, plus a fan appreciation area, which the Redskins tell us that they have anywhere from three to 5,000 fans that come every day, as well as upwards of 25,000 for that fan appreciation day during the season. I'd also like to pay compliment to Bon Secours because of a private-public partnership. The business community has looked upon many times in this community to assist in efforts like this because you guys don't have the money for this type of thing. You've got to be able to focus, focus your monies and revenue toward the jails, the education, the streets, and other things. And you need people like us in the business community stand up and be able to assist in this effort. And this is a very positive thing. When Meet West Baco moved our corporate headquarters here a few years ago, it was very important for us to have a community that had a lot of amenities and a lot of activities for our employees, for retention as well as recruitment. And I assure you, it's things like this that are very important to those employees because they want to be in the part of a community that gives back to them and allows them to be involved in the community, may it be sports, may it be the arts or the MFA, whatever it may be, but it gives us the opportunity for our employees, and we appreciate that fact. And I want to compliment the mayor as he helped move this process along, and there was a great deal part of consideration, and Mike Frazier, as far as his leadership on behalf of the community, that that shows that business people are willing to give back to the community and give up their time. And the financing of this, which you're considering now, is the right way to go. We encourage you to support this just as you have on each of the other provisions tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Michelle Zager with the Virginia Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I'm Madam Chairman, uh, board members, I want to really congratulate and commend the governor and the mayor and all the individuals that helped make this deal uh, come to, to, to this point right now. Um, I also really want to commend Bon Secor for stepping up to the plate this time and many times over the past in this community. What they have done in the community is, is tremendous. Um, from their, that they live the values, and we're not talking about some entity that we don't know. We know Bon Secor. They serve thousands and thousands of individuals, free medical service every year in this community. They have employees that uh, the number one uh, rated for employees, uh, helping businesses with procurement in our hospital systems. I want to commend Bon Secor. You know, it, Richmond has, you know, many of us in our lifetime, we have lived, uh, many people, when Richmond was the same population as Atlanta, as Charlotte, and as Raleigh. And those communities have outgrown Richmond in a lot of aspects. And I think thinking out of the box like this, like oh, we have to make the think out of the box of how to make things happen in this city. And things are happening. It's very exciting what's happening. You know, I have a we have an office in Northern Virginia outside of Tysons and um, and I see the growth and the development in Fairfax County. It's tremendous. We have two major events in Richmond. One is at the Science Museum for the Hispanic Gala, and the other was the Cape Pasa Festival. What I try to do is get people here to Richmond, because when they come here, they fall in love with it. And, and they won't only, it's not hotel rooms that you're talking about. They're going to invest. They're going to buy homes. They're going to start their businesses or move their businesses. It's a wonderful opportunity. But uh, I hope that you give every consideration to this deal and to Bon Secours for stepping up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Madam President, members of the City Council, my name is Jack Barrett. I'm in the 4th District. 
And I too want to just congratulate the leadership of the City Council and City Administration, the Redskins and Bumps and for making this opportunity possible. Um, it's so encouraging to see the, the cynicism that so often characterizes Richmond uh, give way to pride and progress. And this is a really great step forward in building a better Richmond. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we are going to vote on the three remaining papers and bring it back to council for discussion. Any discussion? I would like to say some thanks and some I would like to thank Monster Corps, the Redskins, the governor, our administration, our council, all working together to make this, and I know everybody worked very hard so we could come to a place where indeed the best interests of all the parties involved were served. I feel this is a major win for Richmond, for our citizens, and for our schools. Thanks to Mr. Hilbert, we have $4.4 million for schools for CIP and maintenance. We have $20 million, now, $20 million in annual, new annual payroll, $40 million in private investment, $400,000 in new taxes, three new medical facilities, in two in underserved areas, and that doesn't even mention the risk of training camp. And the fields for our schools to fly on 100,000 visitors a year to our city, and all the economic development this project will bring to Richmond, to our small businesses, to our local restaurants, to the museums, to our other attractions, our hotels, and more. I think this is a big win for everybody, and I want to thank all the people who have worked so hard to make this happen. Thanks. And I guess I have to say, go skip. <laughs> okay, uh, Madam Clerk, would you call the question? Council, you want to handle all three votes? We're going to take them one at a time. Okay. Council is voting on item number 26, ordinance number 2012 193. Mr. Connor? Aye. Mr. Samuels? Aye. Mr. Hilder? Aye. Vice President Robertson? Aye. Mr. Jewell? Ms. Newville? Aye. Ms. Trammell? Aye. Mr. Tyler? Aye. President Graziano? Aye. That paper has been adopted. Item number 31 is ordinance number 2012-215. Council is looking for that item. Mr. Conner? Aye. Mr. Samuels? Aye. Mr. Gilbert? Aye. Ms. President Robertson? Aye. Ms. Newbills? Aye. Ms. Trammell? Aye. Mr. Tyler? Aye. President Graziano? Aye. That paper has been adopted. And council will be on item number 32, orders number 2012 216. Mr. Connor? Aye. Mr. Samuels? Aye. Mr. Gilbert? Aye. Vice President Robertson? Aye. Ms. Newbill? Aye. Ms. Trammell? Aye. Mr. Tyler? Aye. President Graziano? Aye. That paper is also going to go. I'm going to break the rule of a lifetime. Applause is acceptable. Thank <laughs> you.